Hello there. So, I've been gone for a long time. For newcomers, my name is Annie and I make YouTube videos every now and then. This is going to be sort of an update video for you and for me as well. I'm in the middle of figuring out what I want to do with YouTube. I always imagined my channel as a way to tell stories about my life and stuff that I'm passionate about. If you've seen my past videos, you would know that my plan was to post lots of art-related videos here on YouTube, but then a funny thing happened. I had an art block and I wasn't able to draw for quite a while, thus my content flew out of the window. Art has always been something that fascinated me as a child. Although I didn't draw a lot, I was always praised for it if I ever did draw. For example, I had an art teacher at school, we had classes each week and I enjoyed attending them. Even though my drawings were awful now that I look at them, he would always praise me and encourage me to draw more. But as I grew up, I never thought about seriously improving my art skills because it was just a hobby for me and I rarely drew anything. Sometimes I would redraw illustrations from a book, some cartoon characters, and some portraits of my crushes. Then social media happened and I discovered lots of amazing artists. I used to binge watch their YouTube videos and even though I wasn't drawing myself, I really enjoyed watching other artists' process of art creation. Now that I look back, I had this image of myself as an okay artist, since if I ever drew something, people around me would really like it. Or maybe they were just being nice to me. But after discovering other artists and seeing their amazing art, I realized that my drawing sucked and that being a good artist required lots of hard work and dedication. So after a lot of thought, at the beginning of 2020, I decided to take art more seriously. I started watching lots of tutorials on how to draw eyes, how to draw nose, lips. I attempted learning on my own, but I was struggling a lot because I wasn't following any structured curriculum. Rather, I was just learning how to draw random things without knowing the fundamentals first. I remember complaining that I didn't know shading without any understanding of form and shapes of objects first. So to put it in short, I wanted to learn but didn't know the right way to do it. Shortly afterwards, I discovered an art school that opened up in my town and I registered immediately. It was a beginner-friendly course on drawing fundamentals and an introduction to digital drawing. It was just around the time the pandemic hit, so I was working from home and had a lot of free time on my hand. The course was online and there were lots of practical assignments, and I spent lots of time and paper on learning fundamentals. At the beginning, I was so happy to have a structured method of learning. I finally felt like I was actually learning, not just randomly following some tutorials. And I was seeing significant progress in the way I was approaching drawing in general. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to draw digitally, so I didn't draw a lot with pencil. I've had this sketchbook for three to four years now, I think, and I still haven't finished it. Even though I was progressing in digital art, at one point I couldn't keep up with my assignments. I was struggling with time management and wasn't in a great mental state as well. I procrastinated drawing and wasn't practicing enough. We had a few assignments by the end of the course and I struggled a lot to finish them. It wasn't coming out the way I wanted. I couldn't draw for some reason. Every time I sat down to continue working on the painting, I wasn't able to finish it. I didn't like the way the trees were looking and I remember thinking I can't even draw a tree. How can I draw a forest? Even though my teacher tried guiding me and helping out in any way he could, I felt like I had failed him too and I gave up and didn't finish the assignment. I was so ashamed of myself and didn't draw after that for a couple of months. I even questioned whether I wanted to continue studying art because I wasn't sure on what career path I wanted to take. 
that I want to be a concept artist, a landscape artist, a character designer, a storyboard artist? Did I want to work in a game industry or animation or did I want to draw comics? Honestly, my brain felt like it was melting from all of that pressure and I had a lot of anxiety because of it. So I took a break and after some time I somehow got back into drawing again. I decided that I wouldn't think about a specific career path just yet since I still had a lot to learn and that I would think about it more after I established what I liked to draw in general. I found a way to enjoy the drawing process more. Now as I look back, I understand that a lot comes from practice. Earlier I was really timid and was very careful of every brush stroke I put, but after a bit of practice and more time spent drawing, I've gotten more loose with my technique and I'm not afraid of every brush stroke anymore. So yes, fear was my greatest enemy. And I guess we can include the fear of failure here as well. For example, I tried posting videos here on YouTube consistently before and I failed every time. It was probably because the main theme of my channel was supposed to be art. And like I said, I struggled a lot in terms of drawing consistently and I had a lot of art-related anxiety, so I wasn't able to push myself at that time. But nowadays I'm more consistent with drawing and I'm enjoying the process very much, so I feel like this time I can actually do it. I just wanted to say how happy I am to realize a few things lately. Like I've mentioned, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my art. When I started learning drawing, I never had a specific career goal in mind. If you asked me what I wanted to do as a living, my answer would be I want to do whatever I want and I want to get paid for it. And since my teenage years, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to tell stories and create things. Drawing is the way for me to make that happen and I'm so happy that I have realized it. In the long term, I want to be able to sustain myself financially with my art and my channel. I know it's going to be a very long journey and I'm basically just beginning, but it's been so many years and my goals never changed, so I have a gut feeling that it's the right decision for me. I cannot explain it, it's like a heavy boulder has been lifted off of my chest because I watch a lot of artists here on YouTube and seeing them succeed brings me so much happiness and joy and hope that if they were able to do it then maybe I can do it as well. So stay tuned for future videos, I'm planning to post lots of art challenges art related vlogs and hopefully more structured and rent free videos. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. All of my socials will be linked in the description. See you soon in my next video. Bye.